Hello Will, Mike, Burton Caravan Centre. Just going to do the video for your Sprite Musketeer handover. So we'll start at the rear of the caravan. And here we have the cassette toilet locker there and the fresh water fill here. So you fill fresh water in there for the toilet flush and you add the pink fragrance uh, chemical to it as per the instructions on the bottle and use the key to lock. To remove the cassette, there's the yellow handle underneath there. So just lift the yellow and just pull the cassette out. Turn the spout through 90 degrees, unscrew the cap and empty the contents. Refill with blue chemical via the spout, put the cap back on and basically slide it back in and it clicks back into place. There it is, sorted. Close the locker and the key to lock. These are your outlets for your grey water from the sink and the shower. We fitted the motor mover to the caravan, which I'll show you tomorrow when you collect the caravan, how to operate that. Leisure battery fitted, mains cable connected to the caravan, aqua roll and water pump. To release the hose, just squeeze the blue trigger underneath there and pull it out and just push it back in till it clips in. All fine. When the water, uh, the hot water's on, this is the heat and um, exhaust for the caravan, and it has a cover that fits over there. You have to just remove the cover because that gets quite quite warm from the heat exchanger, so it doesn't uh, distort the plastic cover. I've got your gas bottle in the caravan, wheel lock, towing mirrors, mains lead. We've got a temporary hookup to the regulator from our gas supply, just there, nice and straightforward. You've got your gas barbecue point on the sliding vertical door hatch there. And your 240 volt socket for an extension lead into your awning. Let's jump inside the caravan. I've got the drop down door on the front right hand seat down and first of all at the very back there is the yellow toggle switch there lying in the horizontal position uh, that's for normal operation of water into the caravan if you put it into vertical here you hear that there it's dumping the water out of the caravan so for frost protection winter you put the yellow toggled into the vertical position and leave it vertical and it will drain down for winter <coughs> Moving across under the seat here as well, we've got, if you want hot water on electric, you press that button there, which we're on at the moment. Um, heating's on, the charger for the battery's on, and these are the trips and the yellow is the reset. You've got, just let that focus in there. You've got the 12 volt fuses below, um, and there's the system shutdown button there, there's the black button there, it's a bit blurred. And if you press that in, that will shut all the power down into the caravan. On the drop down door here, it explains what all the 12 volt fuses are protecting. And they're all numbered um, the same as what they are on the fuses. And also across here, it tells you what the mains 240 volt are protecting as well on the trips. So when you step inside the caravan above the, the door, we have swift command. We've got the power button in the middle. There, press, press that button there, it brings the power into the caravan. Water pump, press that and leave it on for water, so it draws the water into the caravan. You can check your leisure, leisure battery health there. Very healthy as it's showing there. That's all good. So for heating in the caravan, on electric okay so by the tv plinth we have trauma ultra heat here and at the moment we're on 2000 so that's uh, maximum power you can go to zero you can go to 500 or you can go to a thousand so we're on full power 2000 and we're right round on number nine 
that will bring the electric side of the heater here we've got it on automatic there and you can increase the temperature or decrease the temperature on the dial on the top okay so that's for electric heating if you want to go to gas heating you would turn that to off and you would come across to the dial here and you push down and twist and it clicks there we go and it ignites the gas fire and then you, you've got your temperature range on the dial okay nice and straightforward so as i showed you on the electric um, box if you want hot water on electric that was the switch down there if you want hot water on gas and not electric down at the front in front of the front right hand seat there is trauma ultra store there and you can turn it onto the flame there that ignites the, you do the click that ignites the gas and you've got a temperature range on the heat in the in the hot water so that's for gas at the front of the caravan so the heating's been on a while now and the hot water Yeah, that's just steaming hot you can see that perfect to light the hob or the grill or the oven it's one igniter does all here so to do that to press the igniter there hold the button in for four or five seconds perfect that's lit there we go all three of them working as they should just try the grill there we go that's working as it should perfect finally the oven there we go it's me perfect 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 Moving across to the fridge, power button on for the fridge is this small little rectangle button here. As you can see, that's on. And then at the moment, it is, it's on electric. There, there's a plug. You can press this button here and you want a battery. That's not leisure battery. That's your towing car battery. So if you're towing the caravan and you want the fridge on, you go onto the battery sign there. Or you can go onto gas back to electric as we are now this is your temperature range of the fridge just keep pressing the button and it illuminates those sectors there for maximum temperature in the fridge that's been saying i've been on a while freezer box is starting to freeze up that's all working fine more than happy with that um not going to put the shower on she's all been cleaned out and everything but i'm sure that's all working as it should yeah we've got hot water in the sink there that's good that's the flush on the toilet pump it up and down toilet swivels and there's a slide valve there to empty the contents into the cassette below so there you go all good all working as it should and i'll see you tomorrow guys thank you